Hi everyone, um, so here is part two of Pokemon Rejuvenation. Um, in the previous episode, uh, we went through like a prologue from Maria's point of view. Um, and you know, we saw her mom being sacrificed and then apparently she's getting sacrificed. Um, and then we cut to our main character, Meridia here. Um, who, um, we were on our way to the Avian region, which is where we are right now. And then Team Zen hijacked our boat, I guess, to get our mom. Because, um, you know, we're not important at all. And then Tesla, um, she saved us uh, with her Talon Flame and brought us here to the Oceana Pier. So, right now, we will be heading to the Girin Laboratories to get our first Pokemon. And speaking of Pokemon, here's a Nidoran. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, these are, this is like actually one of like the newer, um, you know, overworld Pokemon that you can catch, um, as of this version. I mean, I don't think it's new to the version, but it's new to the area, um, or, and how early it is in the game. As far as I know. I don't know. Please don't come this way. I'm being reflections. Okay. And there's a weasel here. Weasel is staring off into the distance. Okay. Um, I think there's some hidden items around here. I, I don't remember. You new around here, kid? Are you okay? What's with a long face? Anyway, Garen City is just up ahead. All right, so going this way is Garen. Um. Ooh, yeah. Let me show you that. Yeah, I don't think. Um, yeah, there's any hidden items here. If you're playing like version 10 and before, you would find some. Um, maybe there's some in the flesh and kind of I'm not sure. But yeah, let me show this off. <laughs> Hello, citizen of Avium. Are you tired of your boring life? Well, yeah, let's just say yeah and humor them. Oh, of course, of course. Then listen to what I have to say. You are the lucky 1,000th person to talk to me today. Which means you get an all-expense-paid trip to the luxurious and tropical Horn region. But don't dilly-dally, as this offer only lasts as long as you're here talking with me. The moment our conversation ends, my offer ends. So what do you say? Are you interested? Oh, uh, well, why not? Like, you know, Avian sucks. Let's go to Hoenn. Like, OG region. Marvelous, marvelous. Give me a few moments to confirm something with my supervisor. Hold on a sec. If, you're, if you leave right now, things will go unresolved. Are you really ready to leave everything, to let everything go? Free trip, free trip! Your mother, everyone who lives in this region, they'll all fall victim to whatever evil lies within. Are you seriously going to let them all suffer? Trip, 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 trip! Alright, well, I guess I can't stop you. You made this choice, so have fun in the Hoenn region. Okay, my supervisor cleared us. Let's get ourselves on the sea towards Hoenn. Meridia hopped on the yacht and audibly yelled out, Oh, free trip! They left everything behind in pursuit of a tropical getaway in, Paris in paradise. As the ship left Oceana Pier, Meridia looked back longingly and with regret, only to shrug it up with a quick sip of a virgin pina colada <laughs> and an ice-cold scoop of sea salt caramel ice cream. As for the people of Avium, perhaps they've fallen into the clutches of whatever lies beneath the shadows. Nothing left for ruin and destruction. Wish you, were, wish you were here, Meridia. And that, my friends, is the first ever game over we get in this game. <laughs> so yeah, that is very interesting. Oh, and they, it plays like a more somber version of like the title screen. Alright, so let's try again. No, I don't have a boring life. As opposed to this invitation, it's not for you then. Please have a nice day. Sorry, but my offer has ended. Uh, but yeah, that's like a little, you know, tidbit thing. And I guess, um, maybe it's like to show off the fact that there will be game over moments in the future. But there's only like one, one, one like actual serious one. So I guess that's just to show it off or like have a little, you know, something fun at the beginning. Um, probably for like new players, it'll probably keep you on, on your toes. 
Um, but yeah, there's only like one game over thing and it's much, much later in the game. So you don't have to worry about it anytime soon. Um, Giren City is a perfect place for new trainers to explore. It's filled with a brim with filled to the brim with other beginning beginner trainers and weaker Pokemon. Okay. Welcome to Avium Immigration. Do you have a passport? No passport? Oh, this simply just won't do. Do you at least have a trainer card? Those can double as passports. Ah, yes you do. Please come with me for a second. Right this way. Can you please verify and renew this young trainer's trainer card? You know what will happen if it's not verified. I sure do. This will only take a second. There, all verified and ready to go. Maria is now a verified citizen of Avium as of this moment. Thanks, sis. Here, Maria, you can have this back. And we got our verified trainer card. You can now roam Avium without any restrictions. Good luck out there, Maria. You know, now that they mentioned that, it's, it would be very interesting if, you know, we actually encounter someone who hasn't been properly like immigrated to this region and they just run around probably getting followed like being chased by the police or something or or i don't know this world's version of ice or something i will I, that would be very interesting to see a character or two like that so i don't know um oh and just in addition to like um what i said about there being only one game over moment um much farther in the game um, that's not to say that your choices won't matter. They will. And yeah, trust me, they will. <laughs> so here's Giren Laboratory. Oh, hey, are you Meridia? Oh, so this is Amanda. What took you so long to get here? I thought you ditched me. Well, now that you're here, we can get started. Come here to learn about Pokemon. Um, it also mentions that you can use a link heart, which is basically like the link stone in Reborn, um, to evolve Pokemon that require trading. Shiny Pokemon have a higher chance of appearing in Avian. Did you know that? If you catch a lot of Pokemon, there's a chance a phenomenon called critical capture will take place. It increases your chances of catching a Pokemon by quite a lot. By that, they mean instantaneously. Um, you know, like in the main games, how critical capture has like a sort of metallic sound when you throw the Pokeball? Um, I, it doesn't have that sound. It does have a certain distinct sound, but I'm not sure if you can really tell from the ordinary, um, the ordinary ball throwing sound, so. But yeah, it's not going to be a metallic sound, just a hip hop. My sister was born the SS Oceana. I hope she's safe. Ooh, well, I mean, I don't want to be the one to break the news to her, so. I read a book that said there was an ancient civilization called the Garufa. They didn't have too much information on them, but they did detail some things about their rituals. Apparently, they used Pokemon as sacrifices to create some sort of spiritual energy. Isn't that just a little creepy? Pokemon as sacrifices? Who would do such a thing? Well, there's a lot of crazy people out there in the world. I got my first Pokemon from the sensei of Sheridan Village, Keta. Apparently, he's been in a slump, though. Hopefully, he doesn't resign. Ever want to make ever wanted to make things less cinematic in your life what do you mean when important things happen something like this may happen so you see like the two bars on the top and bottom of the screen no i like it cinematic like, yeah when it's hard to come by in these parts make sure you spend every penny efficiently until you reach a certain part of the game and then you can start getting a million dollars oh um this is kind of awkward, but could you come back when you have at least one badge? It'll make a lot more sense when you have one badge. Alright, so I'll keep that in mind. Ooh. Looks like she's sleeping. Who's sleeping in the middle of such a place like this? Eepers, the new trainer is finally here. Ooh, something suspicious going on here. Right this way, Meridia. Amanda. Uh, uh. Where have you been? I've been trying to get in touch with you for weeks now. Why haven't you gotten back to me? Also, that hat is new. Did you buy it during your trip to Grand Dream City? 
oh, you know, I've been busy and stuff. And yes, I bought this hat at Grand Dream City. Stylish, isn't it? While you've been busy shopping, I've gone ahead and finished our project. I need you to go deliver it, deliver it to Zumi for me. She's presently studying at Magnolia Library. Oh, you know, I would, but I'm sort of busy with Meridia. Another new trainer, I see. Yep, Meridia meet Jan. Jan meet Meridia. Nice to meet you, Meridia. I'm Amanda's brother. Yep, my bro here co-manages the league with me. If by co-manage you mean Jan does all the work while Amanda plays outside, then yeah, I do co-manage. You know, I'm better with more hands-on stu hands stuff, Jan. Plus, you're better with the paperwork. I mean, honestly, is it such a good idea to pin me with all the legal documentation the league requires? I suppose you're right. If I left you with all of that stuff, you'll make sure everything burned down to the ground. Anyway, since you're not willing to deliver this for me, I will myself. Okay, you do that. See you two later. Right, back to business. I'll meet you inside the actual lab, okay? And the two people actually left a while ago in our little conversation. Oh, Aoi, sorry about that. I'm in a rush. Please excuse me. Hmm. She looks kind of familiar. Oh, oh. This way. And above all else, make sure she's there for the pickup. I assure you that things have already been set into motion. Professor Jenner, I brought the new trainer as requested. <coughs> oh, Amanda, I didn't think you'd get here so soon. So soon? We're technically late, Professor. In any case, welcome to my laboratory, Meridia. I am the lead scientist here at Girin Lab. I was hired by Jan and Zumi. Professor, you always put the trainers through this lengthy introduction. Ah, I suppose you're right. In that case, please take Meridia and help them choose right away. Oh man, this is the best part. Let's go. Okay, we have a lot from you to choose from, but I won't explain too much. I think it's better. It's a better experience if you take a look yourself. Oh, and don't worry, we have you being indi indecisive in mind. If you cannot decide on a Pokemon to choose, you may leave your fate up to the RNG gods and use the random machine. As implied, it drops a Pokemon you can choose here at random. Good luck. Okay, so this is the grass section. And as of this update, it goes only goes up to uh, Gen 7. So, yeah. Grass types. There are the fire types. And finally, the water types. Oshawa, get out of my way. And here's the random machine. Um... I think as of this version, um, like the hidden, the secret Pokemon that you can get as a starter, which I think is like Ralts, Riolu, and something else, um, I don't think you can get them again in this version. So you're, it's just gonna be these, um, the eight, 18? 18? Or is it 21? 21, Gen 7. Yeah, 21 starts. <laughs> Boy. Okay, yeah, Gen 7 is so, done. Um, you know what, maybe I'm just being dumb. So yeah, all these starters, these are all the only choices we have left. I know a lot of people will say, oh, start with Mudkip or Blaziken, or, you know, fire types are the better starters. And I don't, I know you guys are probably right, but at the same time, I don't care. Especially with Torchic, because, yeah, yeah, you could get a speed boost in Torchic, but I must also um, emphasize that as of this version, you there, you cannot you do not get the TM for protect, just so just so you know. You know, <laughs> I'm just I'm just letting you guys know. So if you guys get angry that your Blaziken is getting one shotted before it even has the time to get a speed boost up, well now you know that you know as of this version we don't we do not have access to the TM for protect. So yeah, um so I I'm kind of at a quandary here. There's like two. Pokemon that I want to choose from and I'm not sure which one I'm going to take so I'll just pause right here and you know just figure out which Pokemon I'm going to choose so yeah okay so after much soft setting and whatnot the starter Pokemon um hmm do they show you I don't know my starter Pokemon is I choose Pathio um 
I was thinking of maybe choosing Fennekin, but um, from what I've experienced, I feel like there's a shortage of like good water types as opposed to fire types. So yeah, um, I decided to go for a pop deal. Um, and also, you, it's not really common for you to encounter fairy types either, I believe. So yeah, water fairy all the way. Um, I also try to, you know, make sure I get like um, IVs that are, you know, good enough. Um, it's good. It's good that I have like 28 for both special attack and defense. Um, I usually tend to go for like above 15 if possible. If it's like for a stat I don't really care about, then they, I don't care what number they are. Um, but for stats that I'm supposed to be good at, I try to go above 15, maybe above 20 if I feeling, if I'm feeling a little greedy, but yeah. And yeah, I named my Poppy Aqua Ellie. Um, for people who have never played Star Ocean 3 before, well, yeah, plenty of time to play that game. It's basically the name of the battleship that saves us from at, like, from Elcor 2, um, when the Vendini attacked or something like that, or when the what? Wait, when the? Or is it when? I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't played that game in a long time. I should probably do that. Um, so I'm skipping through the dialogue. I shouldn't do that. Um. So we're battling Amanda. All right, League Scout Amanda has the battle, and she has a lit. Well, quite fortunate for me <laughs> to have you know a water type, especially one that has a water type move from the very beginning. Wilkers, Marianne, I was blown away by your potential. You have a long way to go, but I know for a fact that you'll get there. Anyway, that was a good battle through and through. Here's a little something for me to get you started. And she does have some pickleballs. Oh, and I'm sure these will come in handy as well. We got running shoes. And a word from our sponsor. Use the running shoes to can hold the space bar and use that to run indefinitely. <clears throat> now, uh, that's all for me. For, from, that's all for me now. But Professor Jenner should get you all situated. Before I go, let me heal up your Pokemon. See you later, Meridia, and good luck on your journey. Alright, and then Shredder's are back up again. Oh well. Congratulations, Meridia. Your journey is just beginning. But that aside, I have something personal to ask you. It has to do with... Professor Jenner, I'm back from my trip to Amethyst Cave. Here are the Pokemon you left me. Ah, uh, Ren, you got back quickly. Yep, I got research on all the Pokemon you requested, too. I told you that hiring me as your assistant was a good idea. I got the job done. Oh, who is this? A new recruit? Not a new recruit, but a new trainer. So you're a new trainer. Alright then, if that's the case, let's see how you do in battle. So now we're fighting Ren. Starts out with Froakie. Beginner's luck quickly runs out. Let's see what ability he ends up having. Oh, another thing, like I'm not, I don't think it's the case for rejuvenation, especially in this version. But you know, we try to. Um, I'm not sure if anyone has experienced this, but in Reborn, when you try to restart, like. Um, a rival battle, like you see that you're losing and then you start for step 2 battle again, you would notice that their abilities would change. Like, I noticed this with Fern especially. Sometimes his superior would have um, contrary and sometimes it wouldn't, so you're cautious of lowering its defense. Um, I don't think that's a problem for rejuvenation, at least at this point. Um, I'm not sure if it was a problem in, from way back when, but yeah, I noticed that a lot with the one. They probably, um, Amethyst probably fixed this, but, you know, just a heads up, um, that you don't have to worry about that in this, in version 11 of this game. 
Whoa, not bad. Not bad at all. Money. Wow, I didn't really think I'd lose. You're really good at this. Though, that was my first battle with a Pokemon I actually own. Professor Jenner usually lends me his Pokemon so I can take on more dangerous things. Oh, you're gonna be doing more than just things like that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have another task for you when you're ready. Oh, do you mind if I take on that task a little later? I promised some friends that I'd meet up with them after I came back. You've done a great job so far, so I, I suppose you can have the rest of the day off. Thank you, sir. I'll see you tomorrow. Later, Meridia. We'll see each other soon, I'm sure. About that personal favor, I have a daughter named Melia. I sent her to Route 1 and Goldenwood Forest for a little, a little while ago. I have faith that she'll be able to take care of herself, but I'd feel better if there was someone to look after her. Of course, I won't let you do. I won't let you do this without a, a, a without reward. Please take this these as payment in advance. Pokedex and the Cyber Nav. The Cyber Nav is a sim, it's a device similar to the Poke Gear. You might check the town map and listen to music while traveling. I hear that there are many other apps available for it as well, so be on the lookout for that. You may be on your way now. Good luck. Alright, looks like a classroom here too. I wonder who was that strange lady that Jenna was talking to a while ago before we came in. Seems like they were talking about something important. Oh, Shannon. Oh, Meridia, just the person I was hoping to run into. Would you mind coming with me for a moment? There are a couple of things I would like to show you. Welcome, Meridia. This is where we keep all the good stuff. There are, there are a numerous amount of gadgets laid across the region that will aid you when you find them. Exhibit A. Here is what we like to call a PC star. These machines act as a remote PC storage system. If you come across these things, you'll be able to access your storage. Pretty simple. Now for Exhibit B. This one is really important. This is the gym guide panel. When you enter a gym, you'll see one of these panels. They're usually by the entrance. When activated, a very special person would appear and give you advice on the gym leader you're about to face. Once you defeat the current gym leader, the panel will no longer operate for you. Not like you need advice for a gym leader you, you've defeated anyway. Finally, Exhibit C. This is what we like to call a healing star. I'm pretty sure this one is self-explanatory, but I'll mention its use regardless. There are two types of healing stars. Red healing stars are a one-time use. They'll deactivate themselves and won't reactivate until you white out. Gold healing stars can be used indefinitely. Additionally, upon whiting out, you'll come back to this, sta this station. Really handy stuff if you ask me. Well, that's all I wanted to show you. Feel free to try any of these out before leaving. I have a lot of work to do, so I must go. Good luck on your journey. Okay, so let me let me just voice one little bit little bit of a, a complaint. Um, like he said that the red stars were one time use while the yellow stars are used indefinitely. Um, that, keep in mind that that is actually not the case all the time. Sometimes you'll run across, you'll come across yellow stars that you only use, you can only use for one time. And red stars that'll be used indefinitely. Um, I don't really remember a moment, um, where a yellow star was used one time. Although I do feel like I encounter them. I feel like the red stars that have that um, that you can actually use multiple times are the ones you're gonna come across more often. Um, and yeah, I just want to um, say that out there because you know I don't think anyone will probably see this video and see the complaints I have, like because the forum is like the easiest place to like you know see all those complaints. But um, yeah, you know maybe that could be fixed or something. So yeah. Because you could see like if you like see a red star and like you'll you'll not you'll not touch it because you think that oh it's only for one time like I need to save it for something else and then when you actually use it you realize wait it didn't die I can use it again and again and it's like man I could have really used that instead of having to go all the way to a Pokemon Center or something you know hey it looks like you're trying out the gym guide panel after all cats out of the bag now I'll be your gym guide for the duration of your adventure. It'll, it'd only be fitting for the one who manages the league to do such a job, no? Or maybe it's counterproductive. Whatever, you get the idea. I'll see you later. Alright. 
So now let's get out of here. East Garen City. Um, I actually have some idea of where I want to go. Um, so let's. Oh, let's, let's see what they're talking about. Did you hear about the SS Oceana? It hasn't come in yet. What? That liner that's supposed to connect Unova and Avium? Wasn't that supposed to come in, out, come in hours ago? Supposedly. I heard that it was intercepted by Team Zen. Team Zen? That worthless group of people? Yeah, sure. No, it's true. Team Zen may have been docile, but it seems like they're starting to become more, more and more active. If that's true, then I'm leaving. I can't live in a region with a bunch of terrorists running around. Well, I mean, each region have their own terrorists, so it's like, no matter where you go, like, yeah, you just gonna look out for them. It's not kind of bad, like, like, how safe are you really if there's actually a terrorist in every single region of the world? Like, you know, is there like a region that doesn't have those kind of terrorists? Like, I'm just saying. You know, sometimes I hear a sort of scratching sound coming from upstairs at night. What if it's like a rat or something? That would be totally gross and I don't want to deal with it. We used to have a different type of sewer system in Gearing City. When we found a better way to manage waste, we abandoned it. Underneath the abandoned sewer is actually another brand new beautiful sewer. Technology is simply amazing. Welcome to the first floor of the Zelda building. This floor contains a small branch of a growing company from Grand Gym City. I don't suppose you've heard of our new Pokeball technology. Whether you have or haven't, we'll play a little game. I have two of our prototype Pokeballs in my hand as we speak. Choose whichever hand and I'll, you will see the Pokeball inside. I'll go for right. And we get a Steam Ball. A Steam Ball is great at catching both water and fire type Pokemon. If you chose the left one, you get a Mineral Ball, which is very helpful for catching ground, rock, and steel type Pokemon. Just a heads up. My happening was caught using a secret type of Pokeball. Maybe you'll get to hear about it soon. Nope, not trying to battle until I get my Pokemon. Which I already have an idea of what Pokemon I'm gonna get. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. Especially um, this early in the game. Got a blue shard. Very, very useful. Not right now, but it'll, it'll be useful later on. My husband is from, is from Neverwinter. Do you want to know what's ironic about Neverwinter? It was a place that used to be a tropical paradise. It used to be hot all year round, but the land shifted when the region split apart. So now, instead of it being hot all year round, it's cold all year round and it's constantly snow. Funny how things can be thrown in the opposite direction, huh? I have so much work with me that I'm not able to see my family. At least I'm paying for their well-being and luxurious lifestyle. Yeah, but still. I would never want to work for that long, but... Or, you know. Alright, uh, sorry about that. Um, I just noticed something weird happened and I just didn't want... I don't want to continue while there um, might have been errors with the recording. Um, and it's a good thing I did because I think the audio blipped out when I was talking to this lady. So, yeah. Have you been to the Magnolia Library? They have a large array of books about different types of Pokemon. Okay. Are you new to Giren City? Giren City used to be this messy place with garbage everywhere. Thank God Jan and Zubi, Zumi were able to clean up the street to make Giren look uh, presentable. Next time you walk the streets, remember this. The public building used to have a rooftop that was accessible to the public. But after Jan and Zumi, I guess, blah 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 blah, came into the area, the office building to explode. But don't worry, the people who used to live here were moved into more luxurious homes. If anything, they got the better end of the deal. So yeah, a lot of renovating has been happening um, in this uh, city. Oh, I have the running shoes this time. Hey, wanna come back to my place? Uh, no. I 
Uh, sometimes, you know, as you, can, as you saw before, um, the city can be um, raining sometimes and like not raining at other times. So, you know, depending on what starter you have, you can put a bench in them. Um, back one day no no that that's never going to happen um, yeah or in you can find one here um, so yeah check every patch any suspicious patch for any hidden items um, that's probably it for those um, mentions there's something called a level cap in this region that can be quite harsh on newcomers if you don't have the badge for the next cap, your Pokemon will no longer gain experience. But they said that you can bypass this cap by using rare candies. But if Pokemon is somehow past the cap, they won't listen to you at all. If that ever happens to you, use this. And he gives you reverse candy. The reverse candy is like the opposite of a rare candy. Instead of leveling up, it de-levels you. Um, there could be situations where that would be very helpful to you. Like if you if you want to get like a move. But it's like one level above the cap. You can level up, get that move, and then de level it down. So, you know, that's a, that's a good strategy. I never thought I, I would, have to, I would um, have to do that. But yeah, you'd be surprised of um, how often these moves would come across. So. I'm trying to like get something um, before I press the shop. Jen is in the cave from Grand Dream City. It's a place that's better than Guren in every and any way possible. I would say that ever since those two arrived, the city has been in better shape. Oh, that's pretty good. There's a sad looking weasel at Oceana Pier. Have you seen it by any chance? I wonder what's making it so sad. It's just staring off in the distance. Oh, yes, us! You know what? Thank you for reminding me. Not the buizel, but in just in that general direction. Let me uh, retrieve something before I go any further. Oh. Reading, say, do you happen to have a rock rough? How about trading it for my own rock rough? Mine has a secret ability. All right, so um, you can actually get Rock Ruff um, fairly early in the game. Um, when you, yeah, you'll get it. Um, and when you do, um, you can, I guess you can like trade it with her. The only slight problem I have is that her Rock Ruff does have a nickname, and you can't really change it. So, yeah. Um, but it does have own tempo, so you know you could you could um, have that and level up uh, during sunset to get. Uh, dust form like in rock um, but let me also say that if you don't like the idea of you know if you don't like the nickname she gives you um, you can actually catch straight up catch a dust form like in rock later on in the game so you know you don't have to worry about that still staring off into the distance all right where's my boat gonna get here I've been waiting for hours hours I can't, I don't I can't do accents so don't expect me to. <laughs> as soon as the book to Jodo arrives, I'm out of this place. New scenery, new people, new opportunities. Have you heard of Taylor Resorts? I've been working there for a few years. But unfortunately I think it's time to return home. Sad days. I can't believe this jerk just threw away his Pokemon because it wasn't strong enough. Pokemon are living beings, not tools of war. 
<laughs> yeah, I totally threw away that useless breezel down the pier. That thing was so damn useless. Couldn't even be a simple bug catcher. That's so heartless. Pe uh, Pokemon are living things, you know. What? Pokemon are just battle are just for battling. Duh. If they can't battle, then what's the point? Whatever you say. So yeah. And by talking to that guy, you can uh, trigger this sort of thing. And now the weasel has run off. Oh, it's almost as if it kind of heard everything to do the same. Um, is there anything hidden here? Ah, no, I didn't mean to do that. You just moved into my peripheral. Um. But yeah, uh, you can actually, once you um, get your Pokemon and that uh, girl moves away, you can actually catch your own flesh point. So, yeah, that's what I, I was planning to do. Um, but I want to save. Oh, you little... Ah! <laughs> I didn't think you would do that. I, 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 I never ran away before. I usually knock it out. But I was being merciful. And it just laughs at me. Are you kidding? Okay, no. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna spite you by catching you. Okay, so I caught a flesh flame, though not the same one that taunted me a while ago. Um, but yeah, whatever. It's lonely, and I I decided to um keep the one with big pecs. Um, while you may want to go for like gale wings or something like that, um, I don't know. I just didn't feel. That there was a ch there was like a difference in the quality of my journey um, by having a Gale Wings uh, Talon Flame, so I'm gonna try to go for a uh, Flame Body, which in a way kind of um, kills two birds with one stone because you know Flame Body will also help um, hatch any Pokemon that you wanna you know breed um, to be good and stuff like that. So. And, you know, there are some eggs that you will encounter in your journey. So, yeah, having a flame body talent flame right off the bat is um, very useful. So let's just heal up my Pokemon and go. I guess another thing that I should probably do is actually show me catching the Pokemon right off the bat. Like, and if I don't like it, I'll just pause and, like, you know, try to get a good one. As opposed to, like, not showing any footage of it at all. So yeah, I'm gonna try to like do that. Um, so yeah, are you new to the city? Same here. I wonder if I'll be able to do it with me. Okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Having only, uh, having only Pocky around it would be really problematic.
Mm, let me cut out to like when I actually heal my Pokemon. Alright guys, so let's continue. Um, I am coming up on so many errors, but then again, like, it's not like I have like a consistent method of like recording my videos, so it's like, I have to try everything out. Um, so let's see, okay. Alright, there's something I want to retrieve before I do a little bit more of something something. And then probably end, end the video from here. I've heard horror stories about the person who lives on the third floor. Oh, okay, okay, all right. I almost want to go up there to check it out, but I'm slightly afraid. Perhaps I'll allow my cowardice to prevent my curiosity from blooming. Okay, that, this is another thing I want to show off. And besides that, there should be another thing I want that's here. Take this. Okay, that's good, Ultra Ball. Right. I was evicted from my apartment here because I didn't have any money, but now he has a job. Alright, the same people that evicted him also gave him a job. I don't think that will ever happen in the real world, but hey. Work close up with more buildings. Do you have any male Truby? Am I training for a Beniri? Um, no, I would never do that. Second floor. Okay, there's only one person here. All my co-workers are out of town for the month, so I have this floor all to myself. Okay. And the thing that I might as well show you all. Don't ever, ever go to the third floor. At least not now. I recommend that you try to do this like when you're at level 45 and when you get a special Pokemon. I'll point it out once I get it. But yeah, don't ever come up here unless you um, fulfill both of those conditions. Ha! 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 Be gone! Cowardice! Cowardice! You foul demons dare haunt me in my dreams, where I am most vulnerable. Find me in reality where we shall be on equal ground. Send your next vessel to face me. We shall fight to the death. Aha! So you finally show yourself. Finally, an opponent from hell that I deem worthy. You dare enter my domain? This is the act that warrants no mercy. Uh, yeah, let me get out of here. No, 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 no! <laughs> so, yeah, if you try to escape, like, that's why I tell you not to ever come up here, because once you go in, you can never come out, unless, you know, she blacks you out. <laughs> There's no place to run once we set eyes. Prepare for battle. I, Mercury, fourth member of the Colvier clan, master of growing strength, shall beat you to into the dust. Also, keep that title in mind, the fourth member of the Colvier clan, because that's actually very important. Not important to the story, but important. Okay, so she has a level 10 Abra. Uh, so slightly stronger than what we're used to. And she puts up Reflect. Okay. And our moves are not doing anything. Alright, let's try to switch out. Oh, looky here. She is also putting up light screens. Well, this isn't annoying. Okay, let's try Water Gun. And she also has Thunder Wave. You know, this moveset is pretty... You know, there's too it's too much coverage on a Pokemon that to encounter like this early in the game. Like it makes you wonder. No paralyzed. Uh, I wonder if, we, if if we could crit her, that would be wonderful. Okay, we're just gonna get paralyzed. And all she's doing is putting up screens. Oh wait, I went first that time? 
Oh, it even has trick room. How very interesting. So, wait, that's all four of its moves. It has reflect, light screen, thunder wave, and trick room. So wait, now it's just spamming trick room. Okay, so we finally defeated the Abra, and she has two more Pokemon left. Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, it didn't even know any attacking moves. She's about to send out Kadabra. Kadabra? Doesn't Abra evolve into Kadabra like at level 20 or something? Or at least in the 20s? Maybe we're a little bit out of our league. No, this thing is at level 45. So yeah, there's nothing you can do in this battle. And even if you somehow were to like, uh, let me restart. I saved an Oliver, right? Even if you were to somehow get past the, the Kadabra, you will have to face her level, I would say 83 or level 90 Alakazam, which is why I recommend a certain special Pokemon and to be at level 45. Um, yeah, so let's backtrack here and continue on our normal adventure our normal deathless adventure oh another thing that I, I need to do um, we also need gourmet treats okay. well we only need one so let me just sell an ether I want oh because one is all I need okay and then we go down here into Girin Park and in this corner you will find a wandering Badoo Badoo is walling around aimlessly. Give Badoo a gourmet treat. Badoo walls around without breaking eye contact. You want to play with Badoo? And here you can catch Badoo. Yeah. Um, since Rosary is like a really good Pokemon to have in your team. Uh, very strong. Very, you know, versatile. Um, and another thing I want to uh, mention, which I actually forget to mention when I was trying to catch Rihanna. Yeah. So Pokemon that you can catch, that you see on the overworld, that you can catch, um, they will have access to, I'm not sure about flying Pokemon though, Pokemon that just fly in the sky, um, I'm not sure about those, but Pokemon you can find on the overworld, they tend to have uh, an egg move on them, um, but unlike Reborn, which switches between like two egg moves, um, the Pokemon here in Rejuvenation will only have one egg move on them at all times. No matter, it's not even a save file thing. Like, it will only have that particular um, egg move. So, the Budu here will always have extra sensory. All the fletchlings in that in the little fletchling pen at the pier will always have quick guard. So, yeah, if you guys are wondering why my fletchling has quick guard, um, they just have it. <laughs> so, yeah, Budu. So, I will name you Dulcina. Dulcina. Okay. Alright, let's see if you're good. It would be nice if I'm shiny. Oh, calm. Uh, it's good, but it's special attack IV is like a little... Uh, so, I'm probably going to pause the recording right now and keep trying until I get a good um, Badoo with a, uh, a good enough special attack IV so yeah just give me one second okay so I finally got a good Badoo um, Calm Nature with um, Natural Cure uh, and whichever you get Natural Cure or Poison Point um, I think will be good for Badoo 
leaf guard not so much since um having the sun up is pretty situational so ah no i forgot how long her eyesight is i forgot how distant her eyesight is like jeez i really hate trainers with good eyesight <laughs> you try trying to sneak around them okay it's just a tea bath nothing nothing too big unless they didn't have ice cream i don't know all of a sudden can't be too sure though I would like to think that they only have they only have splash, but it probably does. I don't think being permanent for no reason. Ponyta. Okay. Time, you waste money. Wait, what was she even saying to me before? I ain't got time for you. You're the one who challenged me, okay? Alright. Um, let's try to continue with the story a bit. So, wait, wait. Veronica, turn that music down this instant. Wait, the beat is about to drop. I've had enough of your insolent bantering and noise pollution. The neighbors are furious. The police have come to this house at least three times this week. Screw the police. That is enough. Hey, turn the music back on. Hey, what are you doing? I said I've had enough. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no. It looks like I've been fatally wounded. That awful old wretch. She's gone too far this time. Listen, this is the end. I need to ask a favor of you. A pecha berry from the berry emporium. I need to taste a pecha berry one last time before I go. Please. Uh, okay. Veronica and Chastity's house. Official residence of an aging gym leader. Uh, okay, let's just give her what she wants. We'll continue on. Very important right over here. And let's grab seven just in case. Because, you know, I know certain things in the future. <laughs> Here's your stupid Petra Berry. You, you got me a Petra Berry? Thank you. Even though we've just met, it feels like we've been friends for a lifetime. But this is the end for me. I can see the lights on the horizon. If only I was able to have one last orange berry too. G goodbye. Yeah, uh, you can leave whenever you want. 
seriously, you don't have to just stand there. Just let me die alone. You're not buying this for a second, huh? All right, all right. I'll give up. Sep, the name's Venom. Remember it. You probably thought it was Veronica because of my mom, but it's Venom. Call, call me Veronica and you'll need more than an orange berry to heal your wounds. Anyways, it looks like I got kicked out again. This happened on a weekly basis, so I'm not too concerned. I play music too loud, I get kicked out, and then I get some poor sap to buy me free food. So that does that mean you're the poor sap this time around? <laughs> I'm just teasing you. You don't have to look at me like that. Hey, why don't we why don't you come hang out with me and my friends? I promise you it'll be fun. My friends are more responsible than me, so it won't go bad. We hang out at the abandoned sewers. You can find that by going directly south of here. If you don't show up, I'll find you and demand you that you demand that you buy me more food. And I assure you that I have extensive tastes all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so with that little bit of story out of the way, um, I guess I'll just end the parts here. And I guess next time I'll explore the rest of Giren City and, you know, catch up to Veronica. Or Venom, sorry. Whatever. See you guys next time.